Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I just wanted to get on here and give you guys what I heard the Lord speak to me this morning at 529 a.m. And then I'm going to write down what was impressed upon my heart. Uh, this is going to be a word of encouragement and confirmation for some of you. Um, but I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I know that September seems like a harder than usual month for a lot of you, but I'm here to tell you to keep pressing forward just, to, just as I'm telling myself to keep pressing forward because a lot has happened in my life. A lot is still happening in my life, but I'm going to tell you this. I have God's peace that surpasses all understanding and I have had it since everything started just to blow. I won't even say chaos or going crazy um, because it's things that I expected to happen. But when God gives you prophecy, you don't know the time nor the hour or what's going to happen. But I've had so much peace, guys. Um, so rest in peace. That's not just for dead people. <laughs> that's not for the dead. That's for the living. Rest in peace. Rest in his peace during this time. And I was uh, talking with God in my heart yesterday because I just felt led to, for the rest of the month, starting 9-11, September 11th, tomorrow, to release a word of encouragement every day for the rest of the month. So I'm still sitting with God on that. But nevertheless, I was definitely going to get on here today and give you guys what the Lord spoke to me at exactly 529 in the morning. And I woke up saying it and I knew I had to keep saying it until I recorded it on my phone because I knew I was going to go back to sleep and I was not going to remember it when I woke up. And sure enough, when I woke up, I just knew God spoke to me, didn't remember what he spoke. And good thing I had it recorded on my phone. So if you are a prophetic dreamer, or if you get visions or whatever the case may be, and God normally does it in the wee hours of the morning, always try to write it down, record it on your phone. Because when you go back to sleep and wake up nine times out of 10, you will not remember it. So I'm going to give you guys what the Lord spoke to me, as well as what I have written here um, that I felt impressed upon my heart. And again, I pray that this blesses somebody. I don't care if it's one or two people, um, <clears throat> but I heard the Lord speak. And he said, Satan being here on this earth is proof that God comes to reign and possess. Satan being here on this earth is proof that God comes to reign and possess. I heard the Lord speak to me uh, those exact words in that order at 529 a.m. Okay. And this is what I have written as I um, sat with this word that I felt impressed upon me. Reign as in to rule as king, to hold royal office, to be more sovereign than anyone or anything else, possess, to belong to one, and that's capital O-N-E, as in the Lord God, to own, okay? Again, the Lord spoke, Satan being here on this earth is proof that God comes to reign, meaning to rule as king, to hold royal office, to be more sovereign than anyone or anything else, and to possess, meaning belonging to one, to own, okay? Satan serves as a backdrop against which God's sovereignty and transformative power are most clearly demonstrated. A backdrop is a background or setting for a scene, event, or situation. It's the cloth that hangs at the back of a theater stage to set the scene of where the show will take place. God is setting the stage and his performance will always be stellar with peak reviews, the highest praise, and Satan gets to see it all, just like he did with Job. Satan's prediction about Job's situation an outcome was wrong and God knew it would be, but he had to let everything play out to show Satan who reigns and who possesses, who rules and who owns. As we navigate the complexities of life and witness the challenges that come our way, it's important for us to understand the profound truth behind the presence of evil in our world. Sometimes it can feel overwhelming to see the impact of darkness and struggle, but I want to share a perspective that might offer you some encouragement and hope. 
The presence of Satan on this earth might seem like a stark reminder of struggles we face. However, it also serves as a powerful testament to God's active role in our lives. His active role, guys. You see, when we talk about God reigning and possessing, we're speaking about two profound aspects of his divine nature that offer us reassurance and strength. Let's talk about God's reign. This term signifies his ultimate control and guidance. Despite the chaos and the evil we might encounter, God is always at work, steering the course of events and guiding us through our trials. His reign is not about a distant, detached authority. It's about a loving and involved presence that works to guide us towards his divine purposes. Even when things seem out of control, God's hand is gently but firmly guiding us, ensuring that his plan is unfolding in our lives. Secondly, let's consider the concept of God's possession. This goes beyond mere influence. It's about divine ownership and deep transformative connection. When we talk about God possessing our lives, we're acknowledging that he takes ownership of our hearts, our struggles, and our triumphs. This divine possession means that he is deeply involved in every aspect of our being, working to mold us, guide us, and transform us according to his will, okay? The reality of evil serves as a backdrop that highlights God's active involvement in our lives. It's in these moments of darkness that his reign and possession become most evident. God's presence and power shine brightly against the shadow of adversity. He is not passive or indifferent. He is actively working to bring about his good purposes, even when we don't immediately see it. So take heart in knowing that the challenges you face, that we face, are not without purpose. They are a part of a larger picture where God's guidance and his transformative power are at work. His sovereignty is unwavering and his love for us is unchanging. No matter how difficult things may seem, guys, remember that God is actively guiding and possessing, ensuring that his divine plan is being fulfilled. Trust in his process, lean into his guidance and embrace his transformative presence. You are not alone in your struggle. God is actively, actively, he's not just sitting twiddling his thumbs. He is actively involved in his reign, meaning his power, his sovereignty, his kingship, and his possession are powerful forces working on your behalf. Stay encouraged, guys. Do not give up. Do not give in. Whatever is going on in your life, whatever darkness, whatever craziness, whatever struggles, whatever you feel has just knocked you overboard into the deep end, and you feel like even though you could swim, you are drowning, whatever it is, God is your life vest. He is your lifeguard. He will not let you drown. He will not let you sink. He will not let you stop breathing. He comes to reign and possess. He is the king of all kings. He runs everything. He owns everything. And at the right timing, those doors will fling open. And for some of you guys, it's near. For some of you guys, it may be a little bit more, you know, further off. And that's okay because you know who's possessing your life. You know who owns your life. You know the one who it belongs to. You know who's, reign, who's reigning in your life. You know who reigns on this earth. You know who owns everything on this earth. This earth is a footstool to God. He props his feet on top of this earth like he sits higher than all of us. He allows the rich to be rich and the poor to be poor. And while we may not understand all of his ways, we know his love in his heart for us. It's pure and it's real and it's unwavering and nothing can separate us from his love. So regardless of what type of deep water you're in, what type of mucky water you're in, what you're feeling right now, be encouraged. 
Be encouraged and stand up and tell Satan that he is a liar. And what he predicted about your life, just like what he predicted about Job's life, he thought that Job would give up on God, would reject God, would turn his back on God. Job didn't do any of that. Job passed the test and was blessed with double. And that's you. That's you. So Satan's prediction about your life is wrong. He thinks he knows everything, but the only one that knows everything is God. Satan is wrong about you. He's wrong about the outcome. He's wrong about what's going to happen. Everything that you lost will be restored. That's what God's word says. We all are just restored at different times and it's God's divine time and it's okay, but God will never let you fall. He won't let you faint. He will renew your strength. He will mount you up. You can trust him. Yeah, we get annoyed. We get angry with God. We scream. It's okay, scream. Get annoyed, throw some things, but then repent and say, God, I love you. And I thank you. I thank you for this breakthrough. I thank you for this peace that surpasses all understanding. I thank you for the blessings that are coming into my life. I thank you that you've defeated all of my enemies. I thank you that no weapon formed against me will prosper. They will form, but they will not prosper. I thank you. And know that God has you. Take heart in knowing that the challenges that we face, because I'm in it too, prophetic voices, pastors, evangelists, whatever these people want to go by, they're not exempt from this. Take heart knowing that the challenges we face are not without purpose. And that all the chaos, the darkness, the, the things that appear to just knock you out, they're just a backdrop. For God to show up and show out. Center stage. Spotlight. Trust him. I don't know who needed to hear this today. Trust him. Trust him. Just as swiftly as those changes entered your life and things seemed dark, it's just as swiftly as God can turn that situation around. Trust him. Don't focus on the problems, the issues, the people that are coming against you. What's due, God will provide. And for many of you guys, you simply need to ask him to humble your hearts in this situation because you're more blessed than what you think. There's someone praying to be in your situation, even though you think your situation is the worst. It, it's always worse situations happening than yours, than mine. Trust him. He spoke to me and he said, Satan being here on this earth is proof that God comes to reign and possess. Translation, evil being here on this earth is proof that God comes to reign and possess. Darkness being here on this earth is proof that God comes to reign and possess. He's sovereign. He's more powerful. He's king over this earth. He owns everything. Everything is in his hands. All he has to do is blow on your situation and it has to change and move. Trust him, guys. Trust him. I don't know who needed to hear this today, right now. I don't care if it's a handful of people. Trust him, guys. I love you, and I hope you have a good rest of your Tuesday, and we will talk soon. Love you guys.